If you're like me, you've been searching online, trying to find the perfect vintage lens. And honestly, after hours and hours of looking, I realized that the perfect one was right in front of my face the whole time. And that is the Pentax 50 millimeter F2. I was actually introduced to this lens when I was at my parents' house and I was looking through some old camera bags and I found my dad's Pentax K1000. And I decided that instead of trying to find this perfect vintage lens, I'm gonna just use this one, buy an adapter and see how it goes. And it's crazy because doing this allowed me to step into a different direction in my videography career and find the perfection in all of the imperfections with this lens. So the Pentax 50 millimeter F2 is actually the cheapest in its family of lenses with the Pentax 50 millimeter F1.7 and the 50 millimeter F1.4. You can definitely find this lens on places like eBay or Marketplace for less than $50 it is extremely common and they made a lot of them. With this being an older lens, it doesn't have any autofocus or stabilization, so you have to think more about how you want your shot to look and how you want your shot to move. But that really is the beauty of shooting with vintage glass, is it forces you to slow down and take a second and figure out how do you want this shot to feel. As you can see, this lens is a tiny lens, which makes it so perfect for traveling. When I go on hikes and things, I love to pack light, so I have a small camera bag, and I pack in my FX6, which, as you know, it's a pretty big camera, as well as the Sigma 24-70, which also is a pretty big lens. So after putting both of those into my bag, as well as a couple batteries, I have no room for anything else. Luckily, I can just slide this lens into the side and I don't even have to think twice about it at all. Let's talk about some of the character that the lens brings to your videos. The flares, I absolutely love the flares. They're extremely prominent and they really highlight themselves in the videos. And as a DP, I love that because I love adding anything I can into the shot during production. That way I can make that shot stand out and really help tell the story. So whether you're using this lens for a music video or a workout video, it will definitely add a little bit of uniqueness to each of your shots. This lens has the perfect level of sharpness. It's not too sharp, but it's not too soft, and it's not clinically sharp like a lot of the new photography lenses. I am a big fan of film emulation, so taking it back and using the Pentax helps me start somewhere a little close to where I want my final image to be, and that's because I want something that is a little bit rougher and a little bit more authentic. So if that's something you're into then this lens is perfect for you it's also an extremely good focal length 50 millimeters is one of the best lengths when it comes to all-around lenses it's extremely good for portraits but also really good for landscapes and one of the reasons that it is so nice is because it's the same focal length that our eyes see so it renders faces and landscapes perfectly it does also have a little bit of compression to help separate your subject from the background. And I know I just listed some things that I personally love about the lens, but there's also a couple things that I don't really like. This is a vintage photo lens, and when you use photo lenses for video, whether they're old or new, you usually run into the same issue of focus breathing. This is when you rack focus from extremely close to extremely far or extremely far to extremely close, and the corners of your frame shift a little bit but this is a cheap vintage lens, so it's definitely there. And there's nothing you can really do about it. It's not noticeable at all if you're doing micro adjustments. However, if you are shifting from super far to super close, you will notice it. Earlier I said that it has a perfect level of sharpness, but there is some times when I wish it was a little sharper or I just need to use a different lens. A good example of this would be a corporate video where you need something to look extremely clean and perfect. So using newer and cleaner lenses will help you maintain the sharpness throughout as well as eliminating any of the visual imperfections that you would find in vintage glass or cheaper glass. I'm just going to briefly mention the chromatic aberration because with this being an older lens, there definitely is some. It's not very bad at all, so just be careful in higher contrast situations. Like I said earlier, the lens doesn't have autofocus, so you do have to focus manually, and you would usually just use a follow focus on set. However, with this being a photo lens, it doesn't have any gears. And if you want gears, you're gonna need to purchase a cinema lens or a cine modded vintage lens, and those are usually a lot more expensive. I will say that the focus throw is definitely long enough, and it is totally fine not having a follow focus. Definitely one of my favorite lenses, and I am always excited to use it on whatever project I can, because I know that if I need something that is a little more imperfect or has some character, I can always come back to the Pentax 50 millimeter. 
Recently, I released my cinematography reel as well as some of my favorite shots, and I actually use this lens in quite a few of them. So go check those out and let me know if you can tell which ones are which. Thank you everyone who made it to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next video.